At this point, I think she's seeing him as a really nice meal. How's it going, guys? So, unfortunate news. Uh, one of my mail actually flipped over. It's doing okay, but I moved it in this tank because this water in here is a little better than the other tank, I think, only because there's so many plants. And this is the tank, as you can see, the Volcano Blue is in. And she is actually very strong. And as you can see, he is flipped over like that. And I'm wondering what will happen. So let's see. So she's sensing that something's in the tank in her territory that's not supposed to be in. So I think she's making her way down there to just to check it out. But uh, I hope nothing bad happens, but most likely nothing good will happen. Uh, viewer discretion advised before anything, to be honest. So if you want to, you know, change your channel, definitely go and do so. But anything, if anything happens, I think she will probably devour him because as you can see, he is weaker and she is much stronger. So I just wanted to leave a record of what the behavior of stronger female is towards the male that is less powerful. So I think she's deciding what to do, whether to, you know, to, to eat her, eat him, or to, you know, do something about the whole situation because, uh, you know, her, her territory is invaded by this male that she, she's trying to figure out if she likes or not. If she does like him, I guess she can spare his life, but most likely, most likely, nothing good will happen during this fight, I think. You know, so uh, yeah, let's just wanted to study and leave a record of the behavior of crayfishes between the male and female. In this case, the stronger one is the female with larger claw, and it's also a different species. I believe same family though, but uh, we'll see what happens to the male, the blue crayfish, electric blue. But he already flipped over. As you can see, he is moving, but not exactly too alive. So uh, before he, you know, completely passes out, I want to see if anything, if he can do anything about the situation and uh, if he can resist, or as you can see, the size difference is about three times the female is three times larger so very interesting thing if she'll rip him apart or cook him apart or you know eat him alive whatever oh with those large claws I think she's trying to have a grasp grasp on the whole thing but yeah it's very interesting so I think she had him grabbed by by his uh, legs and trying to have things ripped off or something like that because at this point I think she's seeing him as a really nice meal not that I don't feed her but you know that's a lot of protein and calcium and while he's alive so to her it could be a fresh meal that's nutritious and delicious so <clears throat> but uh, when it comes to behavior of crayfishes you have to know how strong your male is, how strong your female is before putting them together. So um, I definitely recommend after getting your crayfishes from the pet shops, make sure you watch them for a couple of days and see what their behaviors are like and decide if you can put them together. You don't just put male and female together in the same tank the, the day one of bringing them into your, your tanks because I did that the first thing that's what I did with my blue electric blue crayfish and the next day the female was eaten alive by the male and surprisingly enough they were actually the same size so the flaw there was that the female actually molted the day that I brought her that's why she was so vul vulnerable and she was eaten alive like that so ever since then I had separated the male and female before I put them in any tanks together and I studied their behaviors and made sure the size difference is is not too big between the male and female because the larger 
of course the larger species will definitely devour try to try to attack the smaller species especially when they're the same sex so there's a lot of violence happens between the male and female a male and male and female and female but I haven't yet to see any violences between the, the females but definitely something happening between the males well as you can see some things like you know she's trying to rip him apart eat and stuff so definitely study your crayfish's behavior and do your research before putting anything together um, because if anything this will happen in this case I know that my female crayfish is way larger about three times larger and stronger with larger claws and she she eats a lot absolutely she eats a lot and I feed her a lot and as you can see she's in this tank filled with nutritious meals like the plants all different kinds of plants and moss growing and algae growing on the on the glass so she has endless amount of food but sometimes she does get you know a little bored with what I feed her so I do feed her dead fishes and dead shrimps but I've actually never fed her any like crayfishes like this but it is definitely unfortunate and this can be out of the guideline but I believe this is something that that's very important when it comes to understanding the behaviors of crayfishes because all I've done so far is to read about these guys behavior and as you can if you read um, the behaviors on these guys it is apparent that these guys are one of the more uh, violent creatures to to raise in terms of the crustaceans and I think this really shows that uh, the vulnerable one will definitely will be attacked and be put down by the more more stronger one and the larger size but the what's bizarre in this case I believe is that it's the female that's larger rather than the male and right now I think she's taking him into her cave to have a private meal of her own but um, very interesting and in this case she knows that she can take the opponent like in terms of like a meal and then take her into her place and then have a nice meal for herself and I'm sure she definitely appreciates this only because she gets the same kind of food and whatnot throughout you know her days and and she does have a lot of nutritious other things in this tank for her to you know munch on but of course these animals these crustaceans grow large um, I think the largest will be around six inches and I think she's about about four inches including from her tail to to forward of her head but definitely when it comes to having crayfishes remember know the behavior of her crayfishes whether it's a male or female and make sure to put them together the ones that seem to be going well so in a couple of hours so you put a male and female together right and you will find out that if they do well together or not in couple, just a couple of hours that's what I learned if they do, don't go along together they will start fighting like crazy but if they do go along together like this look at these guys so I have two females and the one male in here they're absolutely fine so I don't know which one's the male but I can tell definitely later but right now I'll just explain to you guys that as long as you have good amount of hiding spaces like this I mean this tank had way more hiding spaces but then I took them out so they can find each other and start mating if they want to but still having enough of hiding places in case they molt again and this tank has good filtration and aeration as well so definitely consider everything when it comes to raising crayfishes in your tank they say anything low, smaller than 30 gallons isn't good for crayfishes but like, like this this is a 20 gallon tank if you do your researches and have a setup that's proper for these guys as well as the amount of filtration that it requires for multiple crayfishes to be housed in one tank it's absolutely fine and these guys molted all in same days so they did not attack each other so I guess it's part of luck as well when it comes to these guys but a, ratio, a good ratio for multiple different crayfishes is three females to one male or even two females to one male just like this I think these two are maybe females and that one over there is the male can't exactly tell because the female here one of them has a larger claw than the male 
but I can definitely tell by looking uh, under their belly. But yeah, definitely study and whatnot. And so this is, I guess, uh, one of the better videos to explain their behaviors and the housing capability of the tanks. But any questions regarding these guys, definitely leave a comment down below. And if you like the video, uh, leave a like and subscribe and let me know what other videos I should do in terms of tips or sharing my knowledge with you guys with these lovely crayfishes that I have. You guys have a good one and I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye bye.